What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony. And Nikki. You already know, man. We in the building about to turn the fuck up. Sorry, guys. I can't be cursing like that. I'm sorry that we've been gone. And I told Nikki myself, man. I've been doing a lot on my secondary channel, Too Wild for TV. But I, I, I told her I was thinking about it. I talked to a couple friends of mine that maybe I just need to put more time into this channel. And Nikki been feeling some type of way about it. No. Yeah, she be she want me to she wants me to be on this channel with you guys. Uh, the two wild for TV, I can kind of just do that at free will, so I'm not gonna feel too rushed. With these videos, I would like to have them a little bit more done correctly. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna hopefully we can get some more activity going on this channel. But we're finna head down to a Desta in Atlanta, it's an Ethiopian restaurant. It's so good. But she doesn't want to eat there in like 20 years now, so. No, it has not been. It's been a long time, so we're gonna do that. But before we do that, I might let Nikki for the first time whip the big boy. Okay. She's scared though, low key. I'm not scared. We'll see. Are you scared? I am scared. <laughs> I can drop. You sure? Yes. Yeah. Alright, we'll see. Fast no. Double no. Double tap. Back. Okay. Double tap the two thing. The two. Why is he not turning on? Just leave it alone, babe. Oh. Let it do its thing. Why are you trying to rush? Must be too it's hot as hell in this thing. All right, put your seatbelt on. Can I adjust the seat? Put your seat, adjust it. Oh, we got a midget in here. I forgot. So disrespectful. Whoa. Big. You all right? Yeah. I like how my butt is hot. So far. What, are you driving? Yeah. <laughs> we just got we just got out of the apartment. We ain't even we ain't even hit the street yet, girl. We about to, she said how you what do you think so far? We we ain't even got out of the apartment yet. We still right in the apartment. This is where the real stuff starts, girl. Get ready. Get ready. Oh uh, whoa. Whoa now. That was that was you, babe. What are you I doing? It. What are you doing? <laughs> She got them jerked that thing one time. Hit that thing one time, baby. Right now? Probably want to make this turn, turn thing down in one time and see how that thing rides. Yeah, girl. Ain't nobody looking. Ain't nobody looking. Ain't nobody looking. Glory. Glory. Then she heard that thing talk a little bit. How did I do? Hold on, babe. All right, guys. So we just made it here to Desta right now. In one piece. And you did good. You did good. You had a little bit of jerks in there. I don't think you. It was just you, the beginning. You was getting a couple jerks in there. She's trying to get used to it. Look it's at this one though. One right yeah, there's another Challenger right here. But it ain't scat. It ain't the scat pack. Desta. All right, guys. So we're here, man. Desta. Usually, Desta. usually we get the ribeye and chicken with a wazi, which is spicy. And Goman and uh, cabbage, extra cabbage and, and yeah, and then the jetta, of course. Some people like eating it with rice and all that. Like we eat it the real way with our hands, no forks, none of that. So uh, you're gonna see how this shit comes out. It's gonna come out mm -hmm. nice healthy. And hot and yeah, right here we have a sambusa. Sambusa. Now usually these are shaped like a triangle. As far as like, when I eat them, I never eat them like a, they made them like a like a damn egg roll. Egg roll. But it's usually like a triangle the way I eat it. But it's too hot to eat right now. Inside is beef. I'm gonna try to eat it. It's like spicy beef, right? Look. Got like beef patty. Yeah. This is spicy. This is I'm dipping it in. Alright, guys. So here we got the injetta. I think the food's about to come right now. Watch. Just watch. Has to be it. Mmm. Blocking my view. Are you still recording? Yes. Oh my god. So, yeah. That's a straight line. Thank you. They put it on two separate plates and they asked if they wanted it on one. Um, What's the sauce? The that's a that's like the cereal. So do you want me to tell them to put get once one big plate? Okay. You sure? I'm, I feel like it's gonna be harder to reach. I'm okay. All right. So here we go, guys. Yes. Yeah, we're gonna 
So this, this is, is the ribeye. Yeah, and then this, ah! is, this is the chicken Loaded. right here. The chicken right here. All right, guys, now we shall begin. So this is chicken, this is beef. Nicole's mainly likes the chicken. Should, should no, be good. I like both. This is the gomen we're talking about. Everything, you, you use this as your fork and spoon. Mm -hmm. Usually, traditionally, there's a big plate of vangetto. There's a big plate of vangetto, and then everything is dumped into sections on top of the vangetto, and you grab it. It's not easy to like serve like this, but um, I don't know, they serve it like this. They think we're American. We're not American. I mean, we're Ethiopian. Can we get yeah. more vangetto? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you're to the people out there that thinks this looks funny or looks nasty, trust me. It tastes so good. Alright, I can't do it no more. Yeah. Thank you. that little plate shit. I need to get out and get up in there and spin my hands around and shit like that. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> get me in there and spin it around in the booty hole. Ew. Nicole here about a year ago. More than a year, a little less than a year. What do you think? Yeah, about a year ago. It was like near our anniversary, our first year. She was like all like not into it, none of that. Y'all gotta understand, I Hold was on. hungry. Hold on. There I wanted to get more on the plate there. She was not into it, she wasn't feeling no, it. No, because I was hungry this day. And he wanted to take me somewhere to try something new, and I'm just like, that's cool, but I'm too hungry to be like risking it. Yeah. So that's why I wasn't really messing with it. I'm like, if you want to take me to try something new, cool, but take me when I'm not that hungry. Well, and she usually didn't like like she's just not the type to try new stuff. Like that's, that's not true. Okay, listen. She was just all upset. Her 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 mood was all like yeah the whole time. <laughs> Even when we were eating it, her mood was kind of like nah. The funny thing was like the very next day or like a couple days later, we were chilling. I'm like, what do you want to do? What do you want to eat? And she's like, let's get in Jetta. I'm like, <laughs> he was like, I'm craving that shit. I'm like, what do you mean? You just not even show. We're craving too. I'm craving that shit all the time. We kept going like three, four times in a row. Yeah. All the time I was craving it. And then recently she just stopped craving it. I mean, it went for like I get like weird like foods where I crave stuff and then I start craving something different. I like binge crave. You better never do that to me. Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love you too much. I'm sure. Craving different things, okay. But uh, yeah, so I've been eating in Jetta since I was 15 years old, 10th grade, 2006, I think. In this restaurant, they actually get a lot of awards. It's not expensive either. Like both of these, each one was probably like 13. $14. Yeah. So like this whole thing will be like thirty something. They kill you with the drinks, like a coke. This yeah. one, you sit, costs like three dollars. That's what they kill your ass at. So like this is a very good place to eat if you've never eaten Ethiopian food and you're trying to transition. Like you want it like American a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, just jump straight into it. Because other places you go to, they're not even having their English. So this is gonna be like straight home style, like Ethiopian food. But if you're like American, you want to try it. They, like they give you forks and shit. You're not supposed to eat with fork, really. You're supposed to eat with your hands. So if you're ever in Atlanta, stop by Desta. D E S T A. Yep. Desta. And if we have any 
the Ethiopian followers. Shout out to you. Yeah. Let us know where you at. Let us know what's your favorite Ethiopian food. Yeah, so basically what this would be called. Tibs. Is Tibs, yeah. Chicken Tibs. I've had steak tips and chicken tips, beef. But like, I love like dodo what. I love uh, kid food. She don't really fuck with all that. She's like her. She likes the very tips. She's straight. Dodo. She was like, what the hell is this sauce? Like, she has like a sauce and shit. The kid food. I don't like raw meat. Yeah. Even though some of them, Hispanics be eating that shit. Some Hispanics like be raw, like they're pretty raw. Like the lightly cooked. Come in, bro. This injetta will fill you up. Yeah. And the injetta is like a, like a pancake. pancake y type of feel, but it's a little bit spongier. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste like pancakes. It smells like yeast. It's a yeasty smell, right? Saying you like this? That's like a lemony citrus type of Like a sourdoughy. Yeah, like a sourdough. It's, it's a bread. It's a bread though. It's yeah. a bread. And they use this bread as their utensils. Yeah, and if you see, like, the inside is like, it has holes, and then the outside is smooth. And then, like, when you really left in an Ethiopian house, People who like love each other, like I never did this, but like they do this to you. They like to do this. This is like Ethiopian people. My friends, their mothers, they love me like their own children. They'll feed me like that. That's what they do though. And then like a mom and her, I mean, a husband and wife, they'll do like that too. And then babies too. It's weird. Not weird, but it's different for you guys. It's normal to me. I know how. It, yeah, I know how it works. Ethiopians at his school. Well, at my high school uh -huh. that I graduated from. Mm -hmm. Well, low key, even college, your college. Perimeter. Yeah. Perimeter in Clarkston. That's like the area. Little Africa. Yeah. If you guys like this, make sure you spend on like because next time I'm going to take her to a Somalian restaurant. And she hasn't had that yet. Yeah, I haven't. She ain't ready for that yet. I'm ready. Now that's a whole, that shit be African food, bro. Some of the best food ever. Some of the best food ever. Homeland. Woo. Yeah, it's good. Tapping up? Not yet, but I'm getting it. How are you doing? Good. I think for this video we should like try a video where we don't edit it up as much, just let it flow. Like, see what see what they like. If, like you like this video, guys, where we're not doing much editing, just let it more free flow. Let us know. That way it's more of an experience. Like you're sitting here with us, right, and just chopping it up, getting only certain scenes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They're basically sitting across from the table from us eating with us. Yeah. So they. they this is Goman. This is cabbage. It's yellow, but it's like cabbage. Trust me. It's I think good. it's the I think it's the uh, the type of sp sp uh, sp spices so they put they make it yellow like that. I mean, those orange things are carrots. Yeah, and the Goman here is kind of like garlicky, buttery. It's not like regular collard greens. It's just garlic and butter. It's good. They'll love the uh, Jamaican spot too. That's another place we gotta go. Yeah. Whew, Jesus. This thing will fill you up. But that's why you're supposed to eat this stuff like with a group of people. Yeah, so this this plate could have fed probably two more people. Maybe, no, maybe not one three. More. Yeah, three. We would have cleared this shit. If it was four people, we would have cleared it. And this is actually like Ethiopian meat. They eat it as a family. So like yeah. they'll have this plate with like four or five people around the table. It's not 
like Nick, eat, like how me and Nicky eating on separate plates is usually one big plate. Yeah. You don't ever eat it separate. You use a family. It's yeah. a big ass plate, and everybody's just in there going in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Picking at it. That yeah. was fun. But it's okay because we get hand sanitizer at the table too. So yeah. for those of you who are germaphobes. Yeah. But also, serious. I mean, I don't know. I just, I feel like as, as anybody. Here, it's an intimate moment. Yeah, I'm saying anybody, anybody in, anybody who eats, they're gonna eat with their family. So like, yeah. if I was even a stranger, I'm like, yo, squirt your hands. When my mom came, I'm like, I just trust my. Like, yeah. You're not gonna worry about your mother's hand being that dirty unless you know she works cleaning toilets totally. or some shit. Like, fucking plumber mom or something. <laughs> yeah, my mom, my mom was a plumber. Squirt your hands up, mom. <laughs> But like, yeah. If Nicole, me, I mean Nicole always does the hand sanitizer, but if she did it one time, I'm not gonna be like. Maybe nasty. Yeah. Was the wait worth it? Yeah. I think I'm about, I'm about there. I don't want to overstuff myself. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I'm like eating. I'm overeating now. Oh uh, yeah, we're good then. I'm overeating. I'm pretty. I feel full, but you know you how you still got you, that little space. Yeah, that but once like, you get up, you're gonna feel that shit on your stomach. Yeah. You're not gonna carry it. You gotta carry what you're putting in there. <laughs> I don't think I can carry any extra. That's good though. And I'm not even gonna lie. Both of these, they cook them with jalapenos, or I don't even know. It is jalapeno. Uh, Bell pepper. No, that's, no, that's a hot different beer. type of jalapeno. This is not a regular jalapeno. So there's like a little kick in there. For those of you, if you don't it like It is, baby, this is not pickled. It's not a pickled one. You know, the other ones are darker. That's like a fresh jalapeno. I know, but babe. You said it's a different kind, though. It is, because I'm for a regular jalapeno for like two. You're expanding, I'll take your word for yeah. it. But the, these jalapenos and the, the other jalapenos, they look a light one's bigger though. I forgot the name though. But anyway, if you don't like spicy food, I don't know if they could eat this. Well, we got a wazi, wazi spice. This one's not a wazi. But that shiro's in there. Shiro is like the jalapeno and the tomato. Even like the regular meat though, they got a lot of spices. Yeah, yeah. But you see all this like, this other stuff that's like fucking yeah. diarrhea. That's like beans, right? Is the shiro. Why are you gonna say it like that? <laughs> It's Shiro. Yeah. So it's another layer. Thank you. The lady's ass was out. Her ass was out? It looked like it. You good though? Check. Mm-hmm. Checkmate. We're done for the day. So guys, man, we finally made it back to the crib. We had a long night. Nicole's helping me clean up right now, so we're gonna go ahead and end the video off here. If you guys like the video, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. We will be back very, very shortly. We're actually gonna drop a vlog from when we were out in Mexico and this one. So be staying tuned. We got multiple videos coming soon. Yeah. Yeah. It's your boy Tony. And your girl Nikki. And we'll be back soon, man. We love y'all guys. Peace. <laughs>